when I look at this business, we can't be the cheapest, we can't be the most expensive, but what we can be, we can have the best service component in the marketplace. That for me is what keeps customers coming back. If we can't take care of the boss when they walk in, then we might as well lock our doors. So I tell my people all the time, your job is to take care of the boss, most of them is this customer when they walk through this door. And that's really the only reason that we're here. And exercise those muscles that are here. Always have a smile on your face. My name is Thomas Moorhead, and I am owner of the Premium Auto Group, which also includes uh, motorcycles as well. And the brands that we carry are uh, BMW, Mini Cooper, Harley Davidson, and of course, Rolls Royce. One of the things that we try and do is support our local schools. And our foundation, which is the Joyce and Tom Moyer Foundation. With that, what we try and do is to make sure that we give back in terms of scholarships to kids. Last year, we gave out 59 scholarships to local kids here in the marketplace. Uh, and that, that is a partnership between the school, the student, and the parent. There's an article on the wall over here that talks about something that we did that was memorable, certainly for this customer, and that was that she was in our store on a Saturday afternoon, and she was really trying to purchase a car. It was at the close of business, and the young man who was actually servicing the car, of course, um, was away, and I, I just told him, you sell the car, and I'll clean it up. So she walked out, and she looked at it, and she started saying, can you get this spot, and can you get this spot? And I said, yes, ma'am, we'll get it done. And when she was done and was getting ready to drive off, she reached in her pocket and she pulled out, you know, $5, and she wanted to tip me. And I said, oh, no, no, no. And uh, she said, and I, I walked away, and she said, give this to that young man. I said, I want to tip him. for." And she said, and he told her, said, oh, no, ma'am, that's, that's not the owner. And she was like, oh, I can't believe that. And I was telling them to do all of those things. But she taught in the local school there. She was in the teacher's lounge on Monday. And she told the people in the lounge about that story. And they told the paper about it. And that's what that article talks about. And from that point forward, you know, people started saying, they'd come in, they'd see me. Now, I will buy this car. Okay, if you, if you, uh, if you'll watch, that's not a problem. We'll get it done for you. Whatever it takes, we want to make you happy. But again, that's what we have to do. Because it's, if we don't make you happy, you won't come back. The one thing that I was really concerned about was making sure that we were with a brand that was going to continue to bring people in. Marriott was really one of the best brands out there at that time, so that's what we chose, all right? Today we, we have uh, about 43 hotels, and we actually have all of the major brands within our uh, portfolio. And we wanted to be associated with uh, brands like that, and brands that really value the uh, customer experience in a way that keeps people coming back. That's really the key.